Whew. All right, what's up guys? Can't believe it's October already. Hope you guys are staying well, staying healthy. Today, we're just gonna be doing another quick review of another product from the Haircraft Company line. Today, we got their sea salt spray. We've done a couple of sea salt spray reviews here and there. You guys kind of know the gist of like what a sea salt spray has to offer. We're gonna go ahead and review what Haircraft Company has to offer with their sea salt spray. First, we're gonna take a look at the design of the bottle, in this case, not the jar. The application process, I figured for this, would do essentially the spray by itself and see how it lasts for like the next 20, 30 minutes. And then on top of that, I'm gonna apply the hair clay that they have in their product line to see how those two work in conjunction with each other. Just as a disclaimer for me, the hair or the sea salt spray didn't work too well with the gel just because there's just so much water present. I felt like one just kind of dissolved the other. Still, you still can get some type of hold, but for me, it just wasn't enough. So I'm just gonna put that out there. With the clay, I got a little bit, in terms of like results, it was a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do design of the bottle. When we take a look at the bottle, we see that it comes in a six ounce plastic spray bottle, a matte finish around the bottle, as well as on the sticker label. We get design of what the product is, what the ingredients are, and essentially the directions on how to apply it. So directions are shake the bottle, spray through clean hair, work into roots with fingers or brush and air or blow dry for natural looking tussled beach waves. Essentially with a lot of these sea salt sprays, you're going to try and mimic that kind of feel that you get from going to the beach. RIP for those that like never had the experience that like it's weird to think that people don't live around beaches just because I've been in California for so long. Never occurred to me to think that some people just live around land. It's, it's just crazy. So nothing too crazy, a very subdued presentation fits in with the rest of the product line differentiated by this silver kind of holographic print. So let's go ahead and do the application process. So starting off, you're going to want to essentially shake the bottles just so that you can kind of get all the ingredients all mixed up because things do kind of settle down. If you've taken a look at other sea salt sprays, it kind of gets like the little sediments at the bottom. So if you're spraying just that, it's going to be a little bit weird. So we do want things to be well mixed and essentially the water to kind of spread all the clay or the salt or whatever is in the spray evenly throughout the hair. So tip number one, take off the glasses. Cause that shit, it gets on there real good. So for these, I usually apply a fairly generous amount so maybe like nine to 10 sprays. So that's nine. And then two more for good measure. So for this, there's not much in terms of like styling. If I'm really just going for the beach kind of lazy look. Um, right out the bottle, the scent is a very like not cologne kind of scent it kind of mimics a very old spice kind of deodorant scent where it's like very kind of heavy but at the same time it's not on the cologne side it's like almost there but it's nice enough where i'm not like annoyed by it if that makes sense so right now the hair is still kind of wet but you see that things are kind of bunching up a little bit so you do get a nice amount of texture from it if you're looking for something that's very like minimal. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it now to give you guys a look at what, essentially what the product can do at the end. So even now, like there's a little bit of hold. You're able to, what the hell? Cool. So, do this little pretty boy comb over. So, 
So that's a good amount of hold, very light, very loose. Get a good amount of texture in it. Add a little bit of, oh my gosh. Add a little bit of um, blow drying so that you can get like an expedited version of just the styling process. So really nothing too crazy. Let's see, this is kind of weird for me, but I'll go ahead and pull it back as much as possible. Kind of try and clean things up, even though this is supposed to be a little messy. Oh, I really don't style my hair like this, so it's kind of weird. So taking a look, you see that you get fairly messy kind of finish, but that's essentially the purpose of this product. You get a very light amount of hold. So if you see the hair responds pretty well, it's definitely on the super light side of holds. Um, won't be able to like pull things back, but things will be held up fairly decently. So right there, yeah, nice little little hold action with a little bit of nice texture. Obviously this side isn't gonna be able to be styled up. And that's essentially it. This kind of just lasts throughout the day like this. Um, I mean, there's not much to it. It's a sea salt spray. It's a nice like supplement to your hair routine. If you're just going for like a super lazy day, and you're set. So definitely on the minimal side, go ahead and apply the clay to it. Um, essentially this is gonna last throughout the day like this, not much changes, especially if you're using the blow dryer, you're just kind of like solidifying it and evaporating all the moisture in the spray that's on your hair. And from that, you're just left with the hold and like just the salt from the product. So I'm going to use a very small amount of clay to see what we can do. Essentially what we have already is a pretty light foundation of a dry doubt product, um, adding an even more dry product with good amount of hold. I'm expecting pretty much like those two to complement each other. So for this, even with the clay, it's going to be a fairly loose look. Nothing too sleek, nothing too, what do you call it? Slick, not sleek. Cool, cool, cool. Dope. So as you guys can see, it's a fairly loose look still. You do get a little bit of more hold. I'd say even slightly more texture from having the sea salt spray initially on your hair before using the product. Definitely recommend that the spray itself is already dried so that you're not dissolving any new product you add to your hair. Super matte finish, super light. We still get a pretty decent strong hold from the clay itself. So there's no interactions on that end. Super loose, airy look. So if you're going for more of like a supernatural kind of vibe, this is it. A very minimal approach to using the sea salt spray definitely not on the slick side so if you're looking for that this might not be the place to be or the product to use cool all right i think that's pretty much for the review um endurance wise just take a look at how the clay lasts throughout the day um uh, this pretty much adds maybe like a little bit to it but i'd pretty much say it Again, it lasts about like six to seven hours, able to restyle throughout the day just because it is a malleable kind of product in terms of the clay, not the spray. 
with the spray itself, the more you mess with it, the frizzier it's going to get. So just be careful on that. And um, other than that, it's pretty simple and straightforward to use. Not much different from what I see in a lot of different sea salt sprays. You kind of get the same effect. Um, at least it's not like horrendous and just kind of dissolves everything. This actually adds a little bit of hold, a little bit of texture, if that's what you're going for. That's pretty much it. So, dope. I'll see you guys next time.